Hello and welcome to this short little uh, tutorial um, on creating a box or cube inside uh, Revit that will be completely parametric. Uh, we'll start, we'll go up to the Create tab on the ribbon, we'll go over to the Data panel and we'll click on the Reference Plane tool and we'll create, as on screen, we're going to place four reference planes two vertical and two horizontal like so. So that forms the framework for our little box family. We'll go up to the quick access toolbar and we'll attach some aligned dimensions to the reference planes. Place an overall dimension here at the top. Place one to the center. Little reference chain. And then this one, the little EQ button that comes up, will equalize those reference planes. We'll do exactly the same thing down the left hand side, overall dim. We'll run a dimension string to the center as well. Again, we'll click the little EQ button, we'll equalize those. We'll just flex these into position. So we'll click on the reference plane on the right, click on the temporary dimension, we'll change that to uh, 250. Click on screen, you can see that they flex in. The equalized constraint is working. I'll click on this horizontal reference plane. We'll click on the temporary dimension. I'll change that to 250 as well. Everything flexes into position. Go into the front elevation view in the project browser. We'll add one more reference plane to define the height. So it's just a horizontal reference plane from left to right. Again, on the quick access toolbar, the align dimension tool. Make sure we don't select the reference level, we want to get the reference plane that's in there, and we'll click on the two horizontal reference planes. And then we can start adding dimension labels to the dimension. So we'll click on this one, we'll go up on the ribbon to the label dimension panel, we'll click the little create parameter icon with the sun shining on it. We'll leave it as a family parameter, we'll leave it as type, and we'll just type in uh, height. So we've got height in, we'll leave it type of parameter is length, group it under dimensions, that's fine, we'll click OK. So these parameters will drive the little model, uh, as you will see shortly. So we'll go into uh, floor plans ref back to floor plans reference level. I'll do the same thing with this one, we'll click on it, the 500 there, we'll click on create parameter create it the same way as the last one, this one we call width, length, dimensions, click OK, so we've got our width in, and we'll create the last one, we'll click on the dimension, we'll click create parameter, this one we call depth, and we'll click OK to that, now we're ready to add some geometry, so we'll go up to the Create tab on the ribbon. On the Forms panel, we'll select Extrusion. We'll create a simple extrusion. Uh, on the Draw panel, we'll select the Rectangle tool. We'll go from the intersection here to here. The locks that appear, we'll just lock those down. So we tie them into the reference planes. In other words, we place that constraint. And we'll just click Finish to that. I'll put it in the Shaded mode so we can see and we'll just check it in our front elevation view we'll drag the little box with the little grip handle drag it up to the reference plane that's controlling the height we'll lock that one down go into 3d view okay i'll just change the graphic styles i'll just put on smooth lines uh, i'll put on i'll change it to shaded mode I'll click apply, a little bit dark, I'll just go to lighting, I'll just brighten that up a little bit, push the ambient light up, click apply, click OK. And to show that this little box is driven parametrically now, we can go up to the create panel, uh, where we've got our create panel, where uh, create tab, properties panel, we've got this little icon, family types, all the parameters that we created for depth, height, and width are in there, we'll just check it out. I'm going to change the depth to uh, 250. I'll change the height to 300. 
I'll change the width to 250 I'll click apply everything seems to be flexing okay and again I'll change the height to 250 as well 250 click apply click OK and we've got a little well box cube call it what you will and it's been driven parametrically okay so you create the framework first as a summary you create the framework with your uh, reference planes you place uh, dimensions between the reference planes um, and then you label the dimensions with your parameters and you you create your you place your geometry next and you lock the geometry to the reference planes and then when you drive the reference planes with the parameters the geometry will um, move accordingly and that's called flexing the model okay so you flex for the height the width and the depth check that everything's okay if something doesn't work then you can go in and uh, realign and relock okay I hope that's been of some benefit to you and uh, I'll get back to you shortly with uh, another little video tutorial on how to apply materials to this little box okay I'll, uh, I'll speak to you soon take care bye